what's up guys welcome to my channel okay today here we got a homemade boost leak tester i decided to make my own boost leak tester because you know i didn't feel like paying 40 to 60 or even 80 dollars to buy one you know they're pretty simple to make okay so here i am taking it apart showing you guys what exactly you need to make this uh my version of the homemade boost leak tester uh so right here i'm attempting to take off the the little clamp that it has on the rubber boot part of it you can see i'm struggling here got that thing on pretty tight okay finally got it off now i'm taking off the the part that has the gauge on it and the air supply part okay so all you're gonna need is a uh all you're gonna need is a uh 4p07 pvc pipe fitting on there this is what i got I bought it for like two to three dollars got it off uh home depot the pvc uh section okay so this piece here connects directly onto the turbo all you need is a rubberized boot on it where i'm pointing at where i have my hand over it that's the part that needs to be clamped down facing your yeah that goes into your turbo all right just make sure that when you're putting this on you don't force it into your turbo so you know you don't mess anything up right here is what we got is a uh four inch quick cap again i found this right next to the pvc pipe over at uh home depot okay that's what it is you get one uh one get you one of these pretty thick you know so it won't cost no lease when you drill that hole through it in the middle you can see it right there i made it with some uh with a knife cut it out you know it has a clamp on there so you could tighten it down make sure there's no leaks and again guys you don't need any specialized tools to make this uh homemade boost leak tester um this right here is a male fitting that i had to get separate from the uh connects to the pressure gauge up to 15 psi with an air supply fitting on it you know i got this this was the most expensive part out of the whole you know the whole build you know it goes up to uh 15 psi you know you only need 10 psi you don't gotta go that high so this this part alone with the gauge and the little air fitting costed me i would say about like eleven dollars the rest were like two three maybe four dollars so and plus tax it cost me a total of you know uh twenty dollars around there now this is me putting it back together again you know showing you guys you know what you need and how to put it together i mean it's pretty easy like you just put the the fitting the male fitting back in the hole and it's pretty tight it doesn't cause any leaks and it's good it's, it's a good it's a good little project for around 20 dollars, you know and it's fun to make too you know you don't got to go spending all that money you know for companies just to rip you off so i hope you guys enjoyed my video like subscribe and share the video for more videos to come because i will be making much more dope stuff okay thank you guys all right and guys this is the finished product you know twenty dollars the hard sweat to build one of these no i'm just playing no, they 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 real easy to make you know this is just me showing you how it looks you know top to bottom thank you guys for watching and give me a thumbs up